Hello, I am Ariel Flood Advisor, and I am finally playing Banished again, finishing up this game. Let's speed up time there. Anyway, still trying to aim for the Mountain Men achievement. I need to get to early winter year 30 to get that. And I'll say I pretty much have it already. This will just be for fun in case anything funny happens in between now and then, like the, uh, what was it, yellow fever? Anyway, I did screw up with the, uh, estimating how much was left on my hard drive last time. Not a big deal though, pretty much the only thing you guys missed was like most of the progress of building this new schoolhouse here. Which again, like I said before, totally unnecessary in this scenario to have two of them. At this point more, I'm trying to kill time, do stuff, build the town a little bit more instead of just letting it sit there and go, eh, I got the 50, now I just have to maintain 50. You know what? No, that's not fun. Even when you're playing, you're probably going to want to keep doing other stuff. I mean, sure, you could just grind out the achievements like I have been doing quite a bit of in some other games, but you don't want to just sit there and wait for the achievement to happen. No, you want to do some other stuff, keep it more fun. Even if it does take a bit longer. Like this quarry here. Totally unnecessary, but also totally awesome. Let's see... Oh, I lost gather. There we go. All good now. I don't need two builders anymore. I'll keep the one and just plunk a couple houses down, I guess. Oh yeah, stone houses. Heck, I could build stone houses now. Now, some people are going to live in luxury, so let's go for it, stone houses. I'll get another builder, what the heck. Got more laborers now. Not necessary to have the physician, at least not until anyone gets sick again. Ah, uh, yes, and I had this area all prepped and ready to go to expand as well. I could get this town maintaining 100 citizens, maybe even 200 with no problem at all. Oh yeah, definitely no problem at all. Look at that food. Look at... Hang on, I thought I had more food up there. Storage, I mean. Let's see... I had some down here. Excuse me, sorry. Sneezy today. Why am I saying that? I'll probably just edit that out of the recording anyway. Oh, that's a lot of herbs. Look at all the venison. There's lots of meat there. Now, the other way you'd be able to expand your town at this point would be to build a trading post. And ideally, well, you could do the farm stuff, but really what you'd want would be the pastures. Because then with the pastures, you can do what I mentioned before. Make... Or get first you need to get sheep and cows but then what you would do from there is take the leather from the cows and the wool from the sheep mass produce fine coats until your not fine coats warm coats until your town is all well dressed up and they could sell those for a crap ton of money or other stuff really there's no money in the game so you'll never run out of resources because you could just keep buying them all with coats and coats all come from renewable resources you just have to be careful that you always keep an extra pasture or two of the critters that produce them. And you don't keep those pastures next to each other because infestations... My larger town's pasture infestations are pretty much the most devastating and annoying thing. Nothing like that here though. Nothing to invest. There's probably all sorts of weird berries in the forest people don't eat for wise decisions, but hey, that's besides the point. I keep trying to rotate buildings with the scroll wheel. I'm used to Tropco 5 controls right now. Try to summon the build menu by right clicking. Ah oh, well, whatever. Also a fun game, Tropico 5, but quite a bit different than this, obviously. And let's see... Yeah, we don't have as many food problems over in the tropics. There's other problems there. At least this place doesn't have a corrupt government, at least not that I know of. There's probably some weird stuff going on behind the scenes. Probably the reason why they were banished in the first place. Anyway. Ah, goody. Iron Mine's going strong. How's my firewood? Oh, that's so good. I remember... Vaguely remember anyway, it's been a while getting kinda low down on the firewood. Oh, but we're fine now. 
just need to build those houses a little bit faster. And eh, no, not really important. Some people live a bit nicer, don't need to expand like crazy. And I'll get emphasized, expanding too quickly can definitely hurt your town. And of course, not expanding at all will also hurt it. Anyway, this has had a couple updates since they did, I believe, add that patch which made them less stupid about food, which is good. And otherwise, there's more stability-related things, which is always very good. Personally, I think the game's pretty much feature complete. Anything added now is just icing on the cake. Really, just needs to have those bugs ironed out, and it's good. So far, I haven't noticed anything particularly strange going on. Oh, oh. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Now, it's next to the river, so it should be okay. But normally, you'd want to put wells around. Yes, either go straight to the river. Bucket line, bucket line. <laughs> oh, you're going around pretty quickly. Oh, look at that teamwork. Yeah, let's slow down. Look at that teamwork. Looks more like they're carrying buckets of blueberries. Suddenly that bucket of water turned into a crate of fish. I don't know. Yeah, in larger towns, especially more inland towns, you're going to want to have wells everywhere. Wells take quite a bit of stone. There they are. Yeah, four wood, 40 stone. Because they will need to put the fire out somehow. Otherwise it will spread across your whole town. But since that one was right next to the river, like pretty much as close as you can build it, it was okay. Left a mess, but it's okay. Gonna add a miner. A couple more miners, because I am low on iron and I still need that for tools. Stone is just really the icing of the icing on the cake. It's a decorative icing. The kind that's kind of, sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's hit or miss. Well, that's kind of what sometimes really good means. Anyway, you know what I mean. It's got that... It, you don't really need it. It's a flare. Stone is only used for building more buildings. And at this point, you don't really need to. Iron, though, you'll always need that to make sure your people still have enough tools to keep going. Ah, yes, the snow. How are my families doing my new stone houses? Oh... Babeth and Alejandre. Alejandre? I don't know. I also don't know how you should say that name. And up here, oh, they've already got a kid. Merling. <laughs> Merling the kid. Weird names. They won't be entirely out of place in the modern world either, which is kind of telling for how the modern world works. Ah. I know something I could do. The ditch. It's going to become a stone road now. E expensive, pricey, but then it'll turn to the highway, not the ditch. It'll be the highway. We just need to get some builders over there to do their thing. There's something too with the roads that was changed. I forget what it was. It's something with how they're built. Like, they have to remove the old road before they could put the stone one down. Honestly, I'm not sure. We'll find out if what I said is still right. Like I said, most of the patch notes are relatively uneventful unless you've been having a lot of trouble with the game. Pretty much the most interesting thing is smarter AI on the citizens here. Then again, they're just... They're hanging out in the snowy forest. It's like... It's like that one... I forget what was in that for something... Something... I, honestly, I forget what it was for, but something over the holidays, there's people that are just like, strolling through the forest. Oh yeah, it was like... It was a soda. I honestly forget which one. And they're just strolling through the forest, they find this random vending machine. So I guess there's a vending machine in there, and they're like all smiling and happy. It's like, oh, perfect couples, perfect holiday, with like, just the right amount of snow everywhere. Nope, doesn't work that way. No. For one thing, vending machines in the middle of forests are non-existent. Although they... I know, the world's pretty weird. I'm sure you could find all sorts of things in the middle of nowhere now. In the name of convenience. Speaking of convenience, 
This house is being built inconveniently slowly. There's mushrooms. Oh, somebody should eat the mushrooms. Fish, mushrooms, berries. Can you cook something with that? Fish, mushrooms, and berries. That's like an Iron Chef basket right there. And... <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say that name. Valin and... Latishi? I guess. Teacher-student living together. Oh, the one moved out. Oh, they probably just graduated and got their own house. Don't you wish it worked like that? When you graduated, you just got your own house right off the bat. I guess in the olden days it did kind of work like that. In the sense that you actually got a good job. Nah, not this day and age. <laughs> 